Okay, so we're here with Keith Clark at the International Office. Uh, thanks very much for giving us some of your time. Perhaps you can tell us what you do here at the International Office. Well, I think the important thing about uh, the International Office is to think not just about the office, but to think about UWC International as a concept. Uh, and what that means is whatever we do in the office is essentially working on behalf of the, the collective whole of the organisation. So we don't act independently from our bodies of governance, and our bodies of governance are UWC Council, and on the Council there are uh, all of the schools and colleges represented, at least 12 people drawn from national committees, at least 12 alumni. Uh, and we also have a, a board, uh, a board of 16 people also, with representation of the schools and colleges, national committees and alumni. Um, and what that means is that it's imperative on us at all times to work on behalf of what we believe to be the best interests of the collective organisation, but we can't do anything other than that. We'd be stupid to do anything other than that because um, we, we can't act independently in that way. The, uh, the, the, the structure means that, we're, that, that we're, we're, we're forced in that direction. Uh, that doesn't mean, of course, that we can't lead. It doesn't mean that we can't uh, um, s put items on the agenda, sow the seeds of discussion. Um, but then we we guide those uh, guide those issues, um, see how they emerge, and in the end, come up with policies, procedures, guidelines to determine the uh, the way that the movement operates and the way that we can further lead it. Okay. And how does that combine, how does that mesh with what the colleges are doing and, um, and, and their own governance? Well, I think it's, it's, it comes down to the fact that all of the schools and colleges are represented at governance level. Um, and um, we, they're represented both by their chairs, the chairs of their governing bodies, and by their by the heads, the principals, directors, heads. And um, we have to work in harness with them. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't problem solve, it doesn't mean that we don't act on behalf of the majority at times if there's one part of the organisation which is acting in a way that isn't, is not is potentially to the detriment or presents a risk to the rest of the organisation. Um, but we're always looking to, um, to act in a way which represents the interests of the whole organisation but also which enables it to move forward. So I think increasingly what we've seen in the last few years is that there's a, a seamlessness between the way that UWC International operates and the way that the schools and colleges operate. That wasn't always the case um, and there's always a risk of, of there being some um, uh, disconnect there but we just have to work hard to make sure that we're working in, in harmony with each other. And you say about where, where, where things are heading and where, where are things heading, where is the movement heading now? Well I think our priorities, what we do here, a lot of what we discuss at, at um, international level, are determined by the priorities of the strategic plan, and there are six themes in that plan. Education, national committees, impact, funding and finance, communications, organisational effectiveness. We've got a number of objectives under each of those six themes. Um, but what's been really interesting in the three years, I suppose, now since that plan has, has been in place, we've seen two really important, I think, underpinning themes emerge from all, all of that, and those are diversity and impact. And I think that's very affirming, I suppose, reassuring, because for a long time, I think we've been trying to focus on those two issues as being key areas of UWC's distinctiveness. But to such a great degree now we're seeing them permeate all areas of the strategic plan. Diversity because we think that's a really important element of UWC's distinctiveness and it's what enables us to drive the transformation that we see um, in students in the schools and colleges. And impact because to me it's, it's quite obvious that UWC can only be measured in the impact that our alumni have on the world. Um, and I believe that's what, what distinguishes us from other education systems, that we're not putting together an education um, for the sake of it. The education is not the end in itself. Uh, we're interested in, in the, 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 the impact that alumni can go on to have in the world. And so we think, about, we think beyond the provision of an education system to the impact which we can have more generally. So I think it's been really interesting that those two themes, diversity and, and, and impact, are 
emerging so strongly in virtually all the work that we do now. And that's diversity of the student body or diversity of the range of colleges, diversity uh, of locations? Well, primarily diversity of the student body. I think that's, that's the key to it all. But I think diversity should really be informing everything we do. We should be thinking of diversity of, of locations, of colleges, uh, a diversity of different approaches, uh, um, ensuring that we're not too rigid in the sort of the sort of framework that we have operating in the colleges, uh, because that it's through a diversity of approaches that you can I think you can really get innovation. Uh, would it be fair to characterise the short course programmes as part of that diversity of different approaches? Then, yeah, yeah, um, short courses come uh, a, a very clearly a way of extending our our impact. We've, short courses were a great innovation when they were first introduced, the better part of twenty years ago. Uh, now we really need to we, we need to do an important piece of work to understand what we need to have in place to support them in the future. It would be fantastic if we could say we have 50, 70 short courses a year, the number of new people that we could reach um, through those means from non-traditional audiences as well could be fantastic and really could be a way of, 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 of extending impact. That's great. And, and talk, then going back to impact, so you're talking about impact as being central to everything. How are you measuring that? How are you attempting to gauge the impact? I think we've been very, very bad over the years at, at measuring impact. I think we've got a, a, a whole host of stories. You look on the UWC website and you find 150 or so alumni profiles. Um, those are the stories of how impact is made. And I actually fundamentally believe that the most important way of demonstrating impact will always be through the stories. But to, to complement that, we also need better data than we've got at the moment. And we're doing work now to make sure that we get that data in, in better shape. And also, I think we need to work much more systematically in terms of getting proper um, academic and applied research done about impact. So we can not just tell the stories, not just back it up with data, but actually have... Um, sustained systematic pieces of research to, uh, to, to, to to show what we're doing and to show how we're making the impact that we truly believe that we are making. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Um, just to wrap, wrap things up, you've been here for a while now. I've been here for 14 years. 14 uh, years, eight, okay. Eight years doing what I do now. Okay. Uh, and yeah, it's been quite a journey and we've seen quite a, quite a lot of change over that time. I hope change for the better. Um, but there's plenty more that needs to be done. Okay, that's great. And uh, you're working here with a team. How many people are you working? With? Thirteen of us in the team altogether. Yeah, okay. we've just gone up by one within the last few weeks, in addition to our national committee team. Uh, so we have three people working in national committee development, three in communications, three in um, finance and administration, two in fundraising, and me. Okay, so a total of thirteen. Well, that's great. Thanks very much for your time.